Welcome to another lesson brought to you by Elite Educational and Professional Academy. In today's lesson, we're going to continue what we have left off earlier in the previous video, the subject of waves. We're going to learn about the frequency of a wave and how can we calculate the frequency of a wave. At this point, make sure that you subscribe and you hit that like button and make sure to turn on the notification bell to stay tuned for these updates as the following video will be talking about the wave speed and how to calculate the wave speed as well which is an essential part of the entire lesson so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the frequency of wave now in this current lesson we're going to be learning about two different properties that we're going to learn how to calculate actually the frequency and the wave speed now, starting off with the frequency. Frequency by definition is the number of waves number of complete waves in one second. This is the simplistic explanation for frequency in which it represents the complete number of waves in exactly one second. So how does that look like? So let's say I'm sketching a wave and let's call this time frame that we have one second. We're just simply taking a picture of a wave in motion in a, in, a, in a time frame of one second. So the number of waves in front of me is happening in exactly one second. So let's say I'm starting off from here. I'm going up all the way down this is one complete wave right if i'm going to add on another wave in the same amount of time which is one second it would look like something like this so this is my second wave so in this current schematic in front of me i have two complete waves in one second so this is basically the frequency and frequency is represented by the unit of measurement hertz the unit of measurement for frequency is hertz H Z. So frequency is the number of complete waves in exactly one second. And in this current picture, if we have two complete waves happening in two seconds, so for this current wave, the frequency is, given the letter small f, is two hertz. So when we say a frequency of two hertz, it means in every single second, I have two waves passing by this is wave number one this is wave number two so this is for the frequency this is one of the important properties of waves that would help us to calculate as well how fast is the wave going so in order to be able to calculate the wave if you remember from the lesson on the wave properties you can just simply refer to the previous video where we talked about the period of the wave and we said the period of the wave capital T period of a wave which is in capital T it is the time needed for one complete wave or oscillation it's also in seconds so what is the importance of a period with respect to frequency actually there's a relationship which says the frequency of your wave equals to one divided by the period this is a very important relationship in which we have the frequency of our wave related to the period of the wave the frequency equals to one over t and t is the period and the frequency is measured in hertz so if we have the period of a wave 
We know the time taken to complete, let's say, one wave. Okay, we have T, which is the period. I'm able to use the period in order to help me calculate the frequency of a wave. So let's have an example. Consider a sound wave with a period of four seconds. Calculate the frequency. Now, the first thing that you need to do always in any physics problem, always indicate what you have and what you're looking for. So step number one, what do I have? I have my period, which is four seconds. What is my unknown? It's my frequency. Step number two, do I have a relationship that I can relate frequency and period? Yes, I do, which is the formula frequency equals to one over T. Substituting now the unknowns and the knowns, one over four equals to 0 0.25 hertz. So, so far, the frequency is related to the period. And in this current example, my frequency is 0 0.25 hertz. So what does that mean? It means in every second, if I'm going to sketch this, if I'm going to sketch this, it means in every single second, let's say, let's call it here to be one second, I have a quarter of a wave. I don't have a complete wave. I have a quarter of a wave. So when I say one second, it means only this pass, this part of the wave has passed. And if I want to complete the wave, it would look like this. Simply for clarification purposes to help you visualize how it looks like, right? So that would be a complete wave. However, in one second, only a quarter of the wave has passed 0 0.25 and this is how it looks like visually so in this current video in this current lesson we're going to explore or we have explored actually how to calculate the frequency using the period of the wave such that frequency is defined as the number of waves in one second and in order to calculate that I was relating the period to the frequency with the formula frequency equals to one over the period. Now in the upcoming video I'll be showing you how to calculate the wave speed of a given wave using the properties that we have been learning in the first part waves properties along with the second part which is right now the frequency of the wave and how to calculate it using the period and the third part would be how to connect all of these pieces together in order to help me calculate the wave speed. So at this point, you should be comfortable with the concept of frequency, how to calculate the frequency of a wave, where the frequency simply represents the number of complete waves passing by in one single second. I have left for you in the course description below the links to our educational and professional services that span over coaching, advisory, and tutoring services in case you need professional or educational support as part of your journey. Along with the courses that we teach as well in our academy, take a look at them. In case you're interested in one of them, I've left for you coupons as well in order to enroll in our courses easily. At this point, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the upcoming lesson.